In this video, you will see how to use Autofill Chrome extension to fill the forms on any website, right? You see here, I have a section emergency contact information and I need to fill this name, address, city and all like multiple times. So this is a property portal so where I need to add these details for all the properties I manage, right? So when I click on this add button, you see, I have to fill this fields here and I need to fill the same details for all the properties. So it's very hectic. So what I can do, I can use an auto fill extension on my browser and I can fill the same details for all the properties like this. After opening this form like here, I can use this auto fill extension I already installed and set up and click on this and you see it filled all the data I need, right? And it will fill every time I want to fill the same form. And I can create multiple profiles here for multiple forms and multiple websites. So this is very useful when you are going to fill the same data on the same form on multiple pages or multiple websites or something. Right. So let's see how to configure this. So here you see I have a demo form and we will see how to fill this form with the extension. So for that first we have to download an extension on Google search, search autofill forms extension and you will see this autofill forms click on that and add this extension to the browser okay now i can close this tab and also i can close this tab right now i can pin this here now it has a default profile and we can test how the default profile works default profile when i click on this default profile you see it fills some demo data from the default profile we can update this data according to our need and for the subject field it didn't find any recommended field from the extension so what we can do we can create a new field inside the extension for this subject and for this your message it is taking some data from somewhere else so we can fix this as well so let's see click on this autofill forms and click on this settings First, you see this first name and last name is coming from this first name and last name column. What you can do here, we can add our first name and last name here. And next, email. We can add our email here and this your message 30. This is coming from this age field. Like somehow this age field is matching with this your message. So either we can put the message here and use this or we can create a new field for this your message section. So what we will do, I will create a new field for the subject field and I will use this existing age field for the message. So let's see. Hi, I just want to let you know that I like your videos okay so i want this message to fill in this message field after doing this let's save the form and now when i click on this default profile again you see it fills the data we just entered but we have to work on this subject field and sometimes you have like multiple other fields that do not match with the form so in that case we have to create manual fields here subject let's see to create a new field, first you have to create a rule here on this rule tab. Here, click on this add a new rule and I will add the name as subject line. You can put any name here and this section should match with this subject field name, right? So I will put subject and that's it. You can add the like add the rules like this and save this. Now we have to add data for this subject line right i'm just copying this from here profile and i will add a new value here paste subject line and the subject line should be this is a demo form submission okay and save this option now let's go to the form here and again click on this and click on default and you see all the fields has been filled with the data we have entered here so this is wonderful sometimes it will match the field name with the default fields here right but when you don't have a field here 
but you have the field on the form you can just create it something like that we just create it for the subject line field this is very useful when you are filling the same data in multiple form right let me know if you have any question or queries in the comment section with this extension you can do a lot more using this rule section if you check the documentation of this extension you will find they have a lot of options using regex javascript regex so but i just wanted to create a simple tutorial for this extension so that's it thank you for watching please like the video and subscribe to the channel